Hi, it's Ken Hadrick, Dean of the Pi Academy, and thanks for stopping by. So tell me, what do you think about these things? Disposable aluminum pie pans. Kind of lightweight and flimsy and sort of ugly? Yeah, me too. Oh, not me too ugly, me too. I think the pans are ugly. <laughs> so why is it that after years of dissing aluminum pie pans, I've really come to appreciate them and I use them all the time. In fact, I recommend them. Why would that be? Well, stick around for a minute because we're going to take a deep dive into disposable aluminum pie pans. So as I was saying, back in the day, I used to be pretty vocal about my dislike for disposable aluminum pie pans. I called them cheap, complained that they were difficult to handle with a hot filling, they are, and couldn't brown a bottom crust worth a darn. But one day, I got really tired of chasing down my pie pans. People love to get a gift of pie, and sometimes a little too much, and your good pie pans go missing in action. You have to go find them, and it's really embarrassing when your friends pretend they're not there when you stop by. Eventually, I decided it was time to make peace with disposable pans so I could get on with my pie giving and stop worrying about my pans. And that's when I vowed to discover the secrets to a perfectly baked pie in one of these. Well, it turns out there are three keys, and here's the first. This is a team effort, not a solo act. Remember what I said earlier about the pan being hard to handle with a hot filling in it? Well, that's true. So anytime we handle the pan hot, it's going to be sitting on this, our nice, dark, ugly baking sheet. The dark is going to attract the heat so our crust gets nice and brown, and the ugly, well, the ugly's not gonna do anything except be ugly. The second key is getting heat to the bottom crust fast so it browns up like a champ. So we're going to preheat our baking sheet to give the crust a quick blast of heat when we put the pie on it. But before you turn it on the oven, put one of your racks in the lowest position and another in the middle. Put in your sheet, then turn on the oven. Key thing number three, shiny aluminum tends to reflect heat instead of absorbing it. So we have to give our pan and bottom crust some extra encouragement. And we do that by baking our pie on the bottom rack for the first half of the bake, so it's near the hottest heat of the oven, the hottest part of the oven. So, hot sheet comes out of the oven and parchment goes down. Pie goes on sheet, bottom crust says, ooh la la, that feels good, and then the whole shebang goes on the bottom rack. After 30 minutes, we move the pie up to the middle rack. If we don't, that bottom crust might actually scorch and we don't want that to happen. I know this all sounds pretty good in theory, but does all this fancy fadoodling really work? Well, we're gonna find out because I'm going to sacrifice this gorgeous pie so you can see for yourself. So quicker than you can say upside down apple crumb pie, we'll turn this baby over and have a look. And there you see it. Our bottom crust is beautifully browned all over, better than it gets with some of my better pans. The sides look nice too, and I'd say we're onto something here. The crust even sounds nice and crusty. Now, before I go, I should explain that this really works best with fruit pies. You have to be more careful with custard and other egg-based pies because the intense bottom heat can cause your filling to overcook and get tough or even curdled. So if it's not a fruit pie you're baking, only give it about 15 or 20 minutes on the bottom shelf before you move it up. Now, I hope this video was really helpful, and if it was, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment too, and let me know about your experiences baking in disposable pans. I'd love to hear that. See you next time.